This is a recording for Notes 1-4 Math Analysis uh, Part 2, and we're looking at uh, this section called Ex Extrema and Average Rates of Change. And so we're, we're kind of still looking at the extrema part of that, and now we're going to move on to uh, Example 2. And uh, for this one, uh, the rule is kind of written by the graph. I'd like you to graph this. And I can't emphasize enough that actually physically graphing them and making sure you can see this graph uh, and manipulating things is is going to be very helpful for you when you take uh, the next test. So uh, here is number two. It says estimate and classify the extrema for the graph of f of x. Support your answers numerically. <clears throat> So I'm going to ask you to, um, for this one, number two, write this rule. And it can only be found right down here. So f of x equals negative x to the fifth plus 2x to the fourth plus 3x to the third minus 4x squared plus 3x. So take a moment. Um, this is what it looks like, and we're looking for extrema. So relative or absolute maximum and minimum values. Let's just slip back here and just remind ourselves. So a relative um, maximum means that all around it, uh, it's the highest point, but the graph might go higher than that at some other area. Absolute maximum says, you know, if I draw a line there, there's no y value up there. It is the top of the top uh, for y values. And likewise, the minimum, and we're giving the x values where that happens, a relative minimum around that area, it's a minimum. And really around this area, that's a minimum too. So they can be both ex uh, considered relative minimums, but because this is as low as this graph uh, goes, this one also is an absolute minimum. And you'll notice that I didn't really say a lot about that, but when you have a relative minimum and it's the very lowest over the entire domain, then it, be, it, it can be called a an absolute minimum. And, you know, we want to use the most specific uh, name that we can as we go. And again, we're going to use a table of values. Let's stay with that half uh, x equals one half as our interval as we go. And um, so take a minute, put this in y equals. And um, for this one, I'd like you to graph that. And um, I'm going to have you show me several things today. And so when you're ready and you have that on your graphing calculator so that you can see uh, all of that curve. And so you're going to find that if you use the standard viewing window, it's not going to give you that whole curve. Um, but I want you to show me uh, your graph for number two when you get that done. So hopefully you've showed that to me. And now I'll take a moment and um, make also the graph, uh, or excuse me, that is the graph, uh, the table of values. So as before we do that, though, real quick, um, let's just look at this. And we're trying to estimate and classify the extrema. So kind of notice that in this area, it looks like it's it's got a bottom value. But also notice it goes to negative infinity, it looks like here. So I would say that's probably going to have to be um, a relative minimum. And um, so then there's a maximum, a peak kind of here. But again, it looks as though it goes beyond that. So um, that's what I think is going to happen. Now I'll use a table of values. And um, I'll give you kind of a hint of what I'm doing for my table of values. Uh, and that is I'm using that same by one half uh, so from negative three to three and going by one half. Take a minute, pause this, uh, get that graph, and then we'll see what we have. Okay, well, let's look at our table of values here, and um, let's see what's happening kind of around these points as we go. So I, this graph goes by... Um, 
by twos, so it's maybe a little hard to exactly see where that is, but to the nearest half of a unit, let's see what's happening here. So this is decreasing, 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 decreasing. It goes all the way down to negative seven here, but then it goes up to negative 2.7. So I would say that, that that seems like a minimum value. But I'm also going to notice, the reason I know it's a relative minimum, so I'm just going to go min, but this is negative 7, the lowest value, by the 1 half. It, it may not be the actual minimum at that point, at that area, but by my graph, or my table it is. Um, but also notice that it goes to negative 27 at 3 and actually I added some more values just to kind of notice for myself it goes all the way down to negative 372 there so that is going to be a relative minimum at um, at x equals uh, negative 1 and then let's see what happens it goes up a, up um, from negative 7 to negative 2.7 to 0 uh, to 0.9 to 3 to 8 to 14 and then to 9 so it was going up 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 but then it looks like 14 is a is a big value on my table at least and then um, 9.8 it goes to after that so I would say at 2 it looks like there's a max value and that maximum is 14 and notice on my table I see that my graph way over here at negative 3 goes all the way to 279 so I know that that is just a relative maximum and that's how we use kind of that table of values to to give our answer um, so we're going to say to the nearest one half to the nearest uh, 0.5 units comma um, what do we have we have a relative minimum relative minimum at x equals negative 1 and a relative maximum at x equals negative 2. And, you know, because not only visually, but by our table, um, oops, this goes to, um, by not only visually, but by our table, this goes to negative infinity, that goes to positive infinity. Um, there would be no absolute uh, max or min. So um, I'll maybe just write that in parentheses. You wouldn't necessarily have to comment on that. So no absolute. And instead of saying max or min, I'll say extrema, extrema. Um, so no absolute extrema. Make sure that you can graph these uh, as you go, and hopefully you're, you've showed me that graph picture as you go. Um, next is number three, and for number three, you're going to use your graphing calculator to approximate to the nearest hundredth the relative or absolute extrema, uh, and this is another, you know, kind of higher power va uh, graph or function, uh, f of x equals x to the fourth. So let's have you write that as we go. So number three is f of x equals x to the fourth minus 5x squared minus 2x plus 4. And we want to um, find any of the extrema and uh, to the nearest hundredth. So that's... Um, the x and the y we're gonna we're gonna find both of those and um and um approximate the because we want to approximate the actual extrema which is the y value and state the x where it occurs so we're going to give uh the extrema and oops extrema as an ordered pair of x y and then we're going to um name it actually name um, and by name, I mean, you know, 
minimum, maximum, relative, absolute. And so um, notice there's a little kind of technology tip here. You can read that. But start out first by seeing if you can graph that on your calculator. Um, and this time we're going to let the calculator approximate those extrema. And if you remember how, um, go ahead and just do that. And if not, um, I, I'll walk you through those steps once we kind of have the graph of that and just remind you how that's going to work. Now, before I show you my picture of the graph, um, if you used a standard viewing window uh, from um, negative 10 to 10 for x by 1s and negative 10 to 10 by for y by ones, um, take a minute and see if you can make that um, go uh, from negative five to five for x. So for our x values, make it go from negative five to five, but keep this negative 10 to 10 and kind of see what that graph looks like. I just think it, it's a little easier to see where those extrema are. Pause this and do that, and then I'll reveal my, my picture of the graph. So here is my picture of the graph as we look at that. And we want our calculator to um, give us the extreme value or values. Um, first, we'll just look at this picture. Um, just by looking at it. Um, so notice it goes to positive infinity, positive infinity there. So there's going to be no absolute maximum because it goes to infinity. Um, but there's going to be, a, excuse me, a relative maximum right there. So we have to kind of figure out where that is. And then there's minimums here and here. But notice uh, that this graph never goes below there. So this is going to be an absolute minimum right there. And this one's going to be a relative minimum. So a nice graph for us to practice on because uh, we have lots of, of things going on. So we're going to use our calculator uh, to find those minimum and maximum values. And if you know how to do that, go ahead and try it. If not, um, I, will, I will explain how to do that as well. Okay, so if you need to be walked through this, um, hopefully you have the graph drawn there and you do need that. And um, then above the trace key, it says calculate. And uh, so we're going to go second trace and that should give us that calculate window. And um, then um, you'll notice on that it says maximum or minimum. I decided to find that maximum first. Uh, so if we if we look at that, oops, uh, then uh, I picked the maximum, which was number four. And it asks me um, to tell a left bound. And um, I picked, I just scrolled until I was to the left of that maximum. I picked negative 0.53 and a bunch of things because I thought I was to the left of it. And then I go enter and um, then, oops, and then uh, it asked me the right bound and I picked about 3.31. Um, positive 0.31 and I pressed enter e after each one of those and then um, it asked me to guess so I went to where I thought was the top of, of that as close as I could get and I picked negative 0.21 and I pushed enter and then it gave me the maximum uh, which was at about 0 0.20 and 0 0.40 and then that is my relative max and so I want to say that it's a relative max maximum and the x value is negative 0 0.20 and the y value is 4.20. I do give those to the nearest hundredth because if you look back at the problem, uh, that's what it asks for. And um, that is the relative maximum. And now take a few moments and see if you can figure out what the, um, what the other two things are. Uh, there's a relative minimum someplace right there and an absolute minimum kind of right there and give the X and Y values for that. So let's see how you did. You should have gotten uh, that this relative, relative uh, minimum 
was at um, negative 1.47 comma uh, 0 0.80. And then if you haven't already, uh, pause this and find that other minimum, which will be an absolute minimum. And you should have gotten that that absolute minimum was at um, 1.67 comma negative 5.51. So um, those should have been your uh, three three extremes uh, and their names as as you go and um, so really we're going to stop right there and um, now let me just check in what the next slide is yeah uh, so we're going to stop right there and I'm going to give you the rest of your time uh, to work on homework 4a so work on homework for a and uh, that concludes uh, part two and then we'll move on the next time